first thing I want to say is when you're at Derek's house cooking, don't stick your hand in the cupboard because this is what happens. <laughs> Got my hand caught in a mouse trap right off the bat. But I'm okay, whatever. So, you want to cook up some smelt? Yeah. We jigged up some smelts today. This is just a few, but if you don't know what a smelt is, it's a little, obviously a little fish. Look at that. And uh, people use them for bait, but they're also very good to eat. So we're just going to do a quick and easy little cleanup. Uh, essentially, the, the easiest thing to do is take a pair of scissors, cut the head off, cut right down the stomach, right to the vent, and then you go over to the trash. Then you just push the guts out, no other way to put it, clean the backbone like that, and then just run it under water, under cold water. And what you have is a, a clean smell. And you do that to however many you have. But that's the easiest, quickest way to clean a smell that I know of. Scissors work really slick. Essentially, once you get your, uh, just, this is just a very few, just for the simplicity. Once you get them cleaned uh, and washed, and uh, what you do is you take a little bit of cornmeal, or you can use fish batter. There's a ton of different ways you can do it, but the old Yankee way to do it is you put some cornmeal in a paper bag and a little bit like that then you put your fish in on top of the cornmeal and then you roll your bag up so there's a little bit of air in there then you take, take the fish up in the cornmeal try to get a bag with no holes in it Then we put some oil in the uh, pan, get that hot, and then we'll throw a smelt and cornmeal in. And then once you get your uh, get your grease a little hot, or oil, we used to call it grease, it's actually oil. You just lay your uh, lay your fish in. Get those heated up and crisped, and then we'll eat them up. So what you do is you just really want to crisp them on each side. And you know you can do an egg wash or a milk wash if you want. It's up to you. Uh, we're always of the opinion simple is you know simple is good. So if you get a really, if you're out in the woods camping or whatever, and all you get is a a little bit of cornmeal in a fry pan, that's all you need. You know, if you have the luxury of being home, you can use your eggs and milk and all that stuff. So. It doesn't take long to cook either. That's awesome. That's a great year, by the way. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of money. Proper beverage management, right? Proper there. beverage management, correct? That's it, man. PBR. Mm -mm. There it is. Actually, these are about ready. Looks good. Mm -hmm. These pans are really good, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't had an issue, man. I've used, I haven't used every one out of the set. That's the Cuisinart set, uh, Multiclad yeah. Pro Series, uh, 12 piece set. But I've used this pan, uh, which is the larger fry pan. I've used a smaller one, the three quart saucepan, yeah. uh, and a couple of the, the other sauce pit or saute pan, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And a couple of the saucepans, I've had any issues whatsoever. Uh, with sticking no or discoloration. Any, none of that. You can see this is just, I mean, once we're done, we'll wipe that right out. It's clean as a whistle. Yeah. 
you know, I've, I've spent the money on that expensive stuff, and these these squeezing arts for the, for, the, for the money, they're great, great tool. Yeah, I looked, like I said in another video, I think I've, I've done, I paid 190 for the set. Uh, you can buy the equivalent all clad brand. Mm -hmm. You're talking seven, eight hundred bucks. Yeah. And then not that it's not worth it. I mean, because that's all relative, right? Like what's worth it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's all worth it to the individual, you know. But right. I think these pans, at least to my expectation so far, they've done quite well. Yeah. Uh, and again, if you bought the all clad equivalent, uh, you're not doing yourself an injustice, uh, hmm. you know. Well, you can you is. can buy a Weatherby, but the Mossberg will do the same thing. Exactly. Exactly. So good, I think these are really good. Good point. Good analogy. Yep. We'll throw these on a paper towel and let them cool off a bit, and then down the hat. Right on. Thank, bro. That. That's a smell. Try one. There it is. Right out of Lake Winnie. <laughs> yeah, right out of Winnipesaukee. <laughs> like just hours ago. Yeah, actually. well, a couple hours ago, yeah. Yep. Wow. But, um, That's you know, it's, it's simple. Like I say, a little cornmeal, a little grease, and you got, you know, delicious. Bones and all. Yeah, everything. Yep. Cleaned up, cut the head off, uh, as Ed showed with the scissors, uh, right up the belly, clean it out, fried up cornmeal, like simple as. Now obviously, we only did eight or ten of them just for the simplicity, but I mean, if you go out and catch, you know, two liquid quarts, which is your limit, I mean, it's a stack of fish. And quite honestly, that would feed, that that would feed you and I and then some. All right. Yeah, but. That's good stuff, man. It, it is, it's awesome. awesome. Yep. Yep, nature's, uh, well, you just sit here all day. <laughs> we'll catch some more. Right, that's like, it's just bring me a platter of appetizers, man. Yeah. Full of awesome. that. Are you kidding me? Is that a little red wine? Are you kidding Good me? Stuff. So, yeah, simple yeah. as, man. Thanks. Cheers. WCW for sharing <laughs> that with us. Well, Certainly well, appreciate it. All right, cool.